happening behind the scenes now, whether they like it or not. Bright, the trainee guardsmen are preparing to finish their first phase of training. Pass the job, go down and see him, sir. Start training Monday. That's cool. That move. I'm out of this spot and I'll start with proper training. Yeah, so I always wanted to get into it. So, yeah. If we're allowed to drink, there'll be some celebrations tonight, I'm telling you. Yeah. We're all getting bladded. After their first weekend home, the recruits at Winchester are about to embark on the next phase of training. What time were you told to be on parade outside in the drill shed? Who can remember what time you were told? 7 o'clock, Sergeant. You were told to be outside here at 7 o'clock. You're now late. You are already late for day one CMSR. Do you understand? Yes, Sergeant! Downs. Come here. Stand there. Look at me. Listen. Top tip of the day. When you get down to see MSR, shut your faith. You understand? It's simple. You carry on the way you're going, down there, and you will be broken. Is that clear? You take a fing step back and you shut your grid. Because not only will you come unstuck, you will be a disruptive influence on the remainder of the team because you cannot keep it shut. Stop telling other recruits what to do and concentrate on getting it right yourself, which is something you have a problem with. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Yes, sir. Shut your mouth, do as you're told, and worry about yourself for the first two weeks. If not, your life will become extremely uncomfortable. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thanks, so. It's just Monday morning blues. Obviously, they think they're still on leave. So they just get a bit of encouragement to make sure that they snap back into it straight away. So they're leaving today? Yep. <laughs> Are you sorry about that? Uh, no. It's time for them to move on. You're not going to miss them? No. CMSR is the 11-week basic infantry training that every soldier must complete. It's their most gruelling training to date, and the Army expects to lose as many as a quarter of their recruits. This is CMSR. What you did over there, you achieved a minimal standard required. It's no big thing getting through AFS. This is where it all starts. 11 weeks, hopefully 11 weeks, of training for you people. At times you're going to feel tired, knackered, pissed off. You don't want to be here. You're going to miss everything. Bear with it. If in the 11 weeks I rant, rave, scream, scrout, throw you all over the room, then fine. Okay? Take you on the chin because you've obviously dropped a major bollock. Just don't worry about it. Didn't stay there very long. Went back down to London. Got a complete shit faced. Went to a night club around London. Maurice went to a whole house. <laughs> yeah. Right weird how people said that I changed and it's only been like about three weeks or something like that. And they all say, no, you've changed right lot, you've changed right lot. So God knows what I'm going to be like when I get home like, after all this lot. When I'm finished here. How do they think you've changed? Um, got more confidence. He said I've just got a lot more confidence <laughs> in things like when I walked into the nightclub, um, when it bounced and stopped me and asked me how old they were. Straight away, 25. <laughs> Is it? At Purbright, the guards have now moved on to CMSR and face their first hurdle, drill. Squad! Hey! Hey, you want to f*** Sunday out tonight? Eh? Well, what do you think you're doing, waltzing around? If I see you not get, uh, moving your arms short and sharp, I'll lock you up. Not a problem. No problem to me, you move it short and sharp when you get down there. There's a lot of you as well, a lot of you are being idle, all right? You've got to start yeah, making these bodies move short and sharp. It's not happening at the minute. The problems we have as trainers is not one of resources or all that. It is the question of, of motivation and trying to instill a totally different change of, of ethos from one where they tend to think of themselves first to one where they think of their mates 
their regiment and what they have to achieve uh, as a unit rather than as, as the individual. Can the arms in? I think there is a, a connection between drill and the, the discipline necessary on the battlefield as well. And soldiers that can respond and adapt to different situations and different skills uh, will always going to do well on the battlefield as well. And uh, I think our history has probably proved it. The instructors have just five weeks with the recruits before the all-important drill test. Obviously, as a guardsman myself, I, I expect the guards to be of a high standard. You know, that's just a guards thing. I mean, you know, we, we want them to be of a high standard, and obviously, we'll probably put a lot more onus on the drill. We'll take them out maybe more, but as long as they're at the standard to pass drill test one and drill test two, then then that's we've achieved our aim. While the infantrymen at Winchester do not attach the same importance to drill as the guards, they still have to pass the test. Drill, it's, it's a necessary thing to do. It encourages all the right things, that the, the team spirit, and all the other bullshit reasons they give you for it. So, yes, I mean, it is necessary. But at the end of the day, drill is drill, and we do it when we, have, when we have to do it, and we don't want to make a big show of everything, you know, like they do. Are you confident they'll pass off on week five? Of course. Because I'm not, I'm not going to go through all this shit again with <laughs> them. I hate drill. Left, right, left, right, left, right, there. Starting to lose it now. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, something left, special right. though, isn't it, about light division left, drill? Right. It's just something that we're very proud of. And that's what we try to instill on recruits as well. Because they do all their drill differently to the rest of them. It just makes them stand out a little bit more and gives them a little bit more pride in their berries and cup budges. Each regiment has its own particular identity and cap badge. The infantry platoon at Winchester has cap badges from the Royal Green Jackets and from the Light Infantry. Once it's been in hot water for a while, squeeze it out and plonk it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> it works not that hot. <laughs> Note, the bit there, that is where the cap badge goes. That First, it was over your left eye. Make sure the flap goes on the right-hand side. The French were on the left, we were on the right. And not like a tanky style, like that. You are not allowed to wear berries <coughs> unless you perform well on the drill tomorrow. So there's an incentive for you people to do well on drill tomorrow. But I don't tomorrow, reckon you should have your barrel badge until you pass out parade because it, you've earned it, haven't you? You win earned this year. Your badge is your pride of your regiment, and it's something to be earned. So what do you think about your badge? Well okay. smart, top class. Better than light infantry badge, doesn't it? Be honest. Does look brilliant, doesn't it? Proud of it. Yeah, damn right. Proud of that. When I'm on my pass out parade, my parents are all sitting there crying their eyes out saying, that's my boy down there. It's going to be the proudest days of their lives, seeing the black sheep of the family become a nice little swan, as they say in Flyway. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Me wearing this and you wearing that? It's well harder because we've got no, a I'll make it look good. Here we oh, go. Listen to him. How about that? Big glorified flower stuck on it. Yeah. Glorified flower? Oh. Bullsh. <laughs> look at this so, so. thing. Yeah. Look Wait. what you've got in centre of that. Look what's the Vic centre piece of that. Yeah. That. No. The centre of that. You're all part of the lot division. Oh, don't try giving that all part We've of one thing the together now. <laughs> no, 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 Who's look. Who's the best? Our yeah. badges are big, right? Yeah. Um, Cause Cause it's glorified little it's crown really on top of that to say, we're better than you are. <laughs> yes, we are. We're better than you are. Yeah, it's a proven fact. What's the secret of winning? Keep your feet in the stirrups and keep going left. Always left. Left, left, left. What I wouldn't give to go to the right. In a Toyota RAV4. To zig, or even to zag. To go my own way. Why only left? It's not right. The new Toyota RAV4. You're going to eat me? No. I'm just washing your hair down. Oh, that's all right then. Snacks ah! today. I haven't got a clue. 
Scary Lee Dunkers toy with them, then destroy them. The Scorpion from Black & Decker. Works just like a handsaw, but with less effort. The smarter way to saw, only from Black & Decker. It's absinthe and sugar, and you know it is. A weekend of sex, rugs and rock and roll starts Friday from 9 on UK Horizons. Purbright, more locker inspections. Uniformity is everything. Everybody now, get the civvy bags and the military bags out, open, on top of the beds. It's not dry, is it? It needs washing. Right, so, and is that clean washing? So, right, so you put a dirty washing in with clean washing. What do you think will happen? Well, there you go. And you can't wait clean stuff, can you? You're telling me lies, aren't you? Aren't you? No, Sergeant. That is not from this morning. I know it's not. Is it? I did use it this is morning, it? Sergeant. Why did you roll your trunks back up in it then? Same Bollocks. Thing. Bollocks. You were sure again tonight. Ooh. Right, Galsworthy. I'm not going to quit for no one. Determined to get through it, you know. Like, my school teacher at school thought I was a bit of a loser in that. And, like, you know. Because I used to always fight at school, you know. You know, I was a bit of a baddie. But, like, they thought I was going to be nothing. You know what I mean? And this is a chance for me to prove myself that I can be something. You know, and do well. And come out with loads more money than them. Why did you want to join the army? It was like a tribute to my mother. And uh, plus, like, my foster dad was in, and he was a big inspiration in my life. I haven't got a mother, so my father's in prison. Your mother was murdered by my father. Elliot, look up there. Hey, stop smiling. Stop looking like a Cheshire cat. Concentrating there, mate. Crumble will look down on you. Yeah, that was yeah. Like... Hey, Elliot, I'm catching you out every time you take a sneak look. That's just one drill movement. We've spent nearly an hour on it, you know? God. Get a move up! Right, it's improving. However, people's personal trail is still letting them down. Positions of the solution <coughs> to look your left and the right is still cracked. You all know how to carry out the movements. You all know how to do it. But you've are letting the standards slip when you carry out the drill movements as a squad. So on Tuesday, if you come out with that sort of attitude, you'll fail. Real test one, it's their first real critical test. They need to pass it before they can progress onto the arms drill. I mean, I want them to pass, you know, that's why I'm shouting at them. But, you know, I want 100% pass as well, which is, you know, what I want. I mean, 90% of them, I think, will, will pass anyway, but there is a good... I think at the moment 10 percent but we'll be lucky to pass. Take that! Left, left, right! 
When you start doing that mark times, they're dead fast. I can't do it. It's too fast for me. Everyone knows what to do. You just got to fucking work a bit harder. There's two lads in front, three lads in front. They're big lads, so they're marching. I'm from behind, and I can't keep up, because I'm not some lads. So. When I first got shouted at, I suppose, was the day when I said, yeah, I can handle this. I mean, uh, someone told me back ago, before I came in, he says, you'll know if you want to be there, because you'll be stood up against the wall, absolutely knackered, you absolutely tired, and someone will come up and say, right, I need to F and do this, F and do that. Now I turn around and say, oh, clear off, or go, sir, and get on with it. And I suppose that was the actual day when it actually hit me and I thought, yeah, I want to be here. Little devil, you see? Yeah? It's, uh, it's cool. One and another one, but I can't afford it at the minute. But, What's so, you going to have? Well, I'm going to have a heart with, me, with a rose with my mother's name on it. So, so that's what I'm going to get on my arm. And then get a couple more when I'm in, like. So, you know, so anyway. Yeah, I am, I. Can't wait. You know, it's going to be good on Joel Square. At Winchester, they're not quite so confident. It's just the same people cocking up, same people not doing this, same people not doing that. It's all about teamwork, cooperation. There's no teamwork, no cooperation out of this lot whatsoever. We just keep getting screamed at saying that we're crap and we're not good enough. Stuff like that, and I didn't really know if I could put that much more effort into it. So, I, like I said, I've been trying my hardest to do it. So, if I can't put no more effort into it, I'm not going to be that good at it. So, I thought, well, I may as well leave now before it gets any harder. Uh, I've been talked out on it by some lads. Do you still think you might leave? Yeah, if it gets much worse, cos, like, it's crap. Just keep getting beasted and beasted and beasted all the time for stuff that's, like, not our fault. It's like 70% of this platoon really try hard. It's just rest that are cocking up for all of us. <laughs> At Winchester, five weeks have passed. Now they've got just one rehearsal left before the drill test. Bring me up, relax, enjoy right it. There's nothing on this drill test that you do not know. It's that you people are not putting the effort in. Well, that's fine. It just means that you don't pass off the shaggy square. You know the drill movements. There's nothing in there that you don't know. Yet you're not producing the goods. We can do no more. It's you. You individually and you collectively who are going to make a disgrace on that drill square. It's not good enough. At Purbright, the recruits are not faring much better. I'll take off the square now. Cut your fucking shit! Stop flapping. Get the arms in the middle, girls, where are they? How are they going to do this afternoon? So long as it's not raining, they should be okay. He says. One, two, three, yeah, if they put the effort in, if they work at it, then hopefully the majority of them will get off the square. Yeah. Oh, Look at me now. Idle fucking bastards! Here's the platoon is present with 41 members and ready for your inspection, ma'am. Sir, 9 platoon, present, formed up, 34 on parade, sir. OK, cut on. Push shoulders back. Recruits are tested on their drill, their appearance and their regimental knowledge. Recruit guarding, sir! What are going to do, guys? 1657, sir! This test doesn't take a lot of brains of an archbishop. Therefore, put the effort in. Relax. Do not panic in any form. If you panic, then you normally fail. Recruit gain, stains on jumper man. Push your arms in, push them down by side. You're going to lose a mark. You know the reason why? What did you have for your dinner? Chips, sir. Chips on what? Beans. Exactly. And all your face is covered in beans. Deducting one mark, please. 
Gone. Private at South uh, wishes to join the second light infantry from Sheffield, sir. You're a bit of a space cadet, you, aren't you? Yes, sir. Right, let's start again and let's be more confident in what you're saying. OK, Private. do not flap. Private at South wishing to join the second light infantry from Sheffield, sir. Relax a bit. OK, apart from that, no bad turn out, you fella. At Purbright, they've reached the most stressful part of the test, saluting on the march. Billy, tell them to relax, mate. Tell them to relax. Up this one, two, three, four, five, down, swing! Saluting on the march. Up, two, three, four, five, down, swing! Right, get away, that was pathetic! Get Quickly, give them away! Get, get, get away! His left Slow arm down. flapping around boys Slow in down. swim position. Just to lock his left arm Step short. firmly into the side of the body. You wankers. The crap. Saluting crap at saluting. And I mean crap. Simple as that. Uh, get them all together, and I'll explain to them. Apart from the saluting, they're not that bad. Good, I've got a few borderlines. Mm. So if your borderlines and my borderlines are the same, the initial inspection wasn't brilliant. Uh, there's a few of them that um, had quite a lot of creases at the back of their lightweights. Got to get, but it is important. It's important that they show themselves in their best light. Right, gentlemen. I will pull no punches on this. Your general turnout wasn't that bad at all. I have seen worse and I have seen better. And general turnout, you have passed the drill assessment. I think overall, actually, the, the individual foot drill was the best I've seen in quite a while, actually. All round. Course from the so, uh, I think, more. Your foot drill at the old, I can quite honestly say, was probably the best I've seen in C Company since I have been here. Which brings me on to that shower of shite that you've just done there, which was absolutely pathetic. And you have gone from probably being the best platoon at foot drill at the old to the worst platoon I've had the privilege to stand on this square with at saluting. And I don't say that too lightly, cos that was pathetic. Therefore, you will get retested, and therefore, as a platoon, you have failed assessment. Just because of that. Right, who thinks they passed? Who thinks they failed the drill test? Stand by. Because you all passed now, 100 quid. <laughs> like we said, cheers at the start. If you put the effort in, then you will pass. <laughs> Everyone's passed the drill test. So, everyone's pretty happy at the minute. So, I'm fairly chuffed. Same as the rest of the lads. Well chuffed. It's a way off my mind anyway. And I wanted 100% pass more than anything. But, you know, it's a reflection on the staff as well. As, you know, even though it's good for them, it's still it's good for us as well. But, yeah, it puts me in a better mood anyway. Well, they failed, didn't they? Because they just couldn't be asked to do any work by themselves in their own time. They failed. Pissed off with three or four people out at platoon having to carry everybody else's weight. So it shows up when you do stuff like this. Shows up like who's actually trying in platoon and who's not. It's the problem no one gives a shit in this platoon anymore. Two weeks later, the infantrymen at Winchester passed their drill test. Blue eyes biting, the grey eyes biting, the tears. Arms to the teeth, through all the words reaching all the years. I saw the gleam as she raised your shield the love screamed down with the sun behind its back The battery, the light switch and everything Yeah Ready to explode Now you should have picked up that wire just that little bit earlier You're learning aren't you? Yeah You're not going to make this mistake again and this is all part of the training Vigilance is vital to recognising possible danger situations, as Gemma is about to find out. Will she pick up...